Recognizing the member for Caribou North. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. I'm very pleased this morning to speak to the motion of making life better for young people. I'd like to open my remarks with acknowledging all of the student leadership organizations across this province for the incredible advocacy that they do to members of this House and on behalf of students in British Columbia. We are incredibly fortunate to have such a highly engaged and educated population of young people who are committed to making this province fantastic. We are also privileged to attract thousands of young people every year to the province who come to British Columbia from across Canada and indeed the world to better themselves through post-secondary education. We know, Honourable Speaker, that in the next 10 years we will face a shortage of workers in this province and it is in fact expected that more than 1 million job openings will become available due to retirement of the baby boomers and our general population growth. In fact, we experience that right now across the province in our communities. One of the best solutions to addressing this labour shortage, however, is our world-class post-secondary education system. By attracting young people from around the world to British Columbia, we can encourage them to establish their lives here and their careers here. In order to do this, however, the conditions need to be right. I want to again acknowledge all of the student associations who advocate to each of us every year. And one of the things that I hear year in and year out is the concern around international students being able to afford their education here in British Columbia. Inter international students' tuition has increased by 39% over four years under the NDP government, and in 2017, the average international student tuition fee rate for Bachelor of Arts degrees at UBC was $28,000. By 2021, it had risen to more than $38,000. That's a $10,000 increase over four years. The unpredictability of international tuition is only one example of post-secondary education becoming increasingly unaffordable. Students, both domestic and international, are struggling to keep up with the rising rates of inflation and the general affordability across the province. Full-time students often cannot make enough money through part-time and summer jobs to cover tuition and living expenses. As rent, grocery prices increase, the number of students who experience food insecurity are increasing. Students are three times more likely to experience food insecurity than the general population. This can have long-term effects on students' lives and their abilities to succeed. One study at UBCO found that 25% of food insecure students had to reduce their course load to afford tuition and living expenses. Food insecure students are more likely to have lower grade point averages or to drop out of their studies due to financial reasons. The affordability challenges do not stop there. Between February 2021 and February 2022, the average rent in Vancouver increased by 23%. When the prices of tuition and rent are skyrocketing, it is no wonder that BC students are calling for more support. Despite the fact that this government has the tools available to provide relief, they continue to delay action. The promis promised renter's rebate is still nowhere to be seen, and students are facing annual tuition hikes. In a recent study, it found that 30% of new Canadians between the ages of 18 and 34 years old are likely to move to another country in the next two years. Nearly a quarter of university-educated new Canadians are likely to move. The top reasons for this are the high cost of living, experiences of discrimination and racism, and the current leadership in government. Highly skilled young people in British Columbia are feeling hopeless about their prospects. Even if they manage to make it through their post-secondary degrees, their entry-level salaries are not high enough to meet the current cost of living. If we have any hope of retaining these fantastic young people, we must do better to support them during their studies and after. No student should have to go hungry, withdraw from their studies, or move away because of BC's unaffordability crisis. It's time we all take action and support the future of our province.